Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to day two of our reindeer study. So today we're going to talk about all the things that we talked about last time that were called nonfiction text features. Remember, nonfiction means real. So this is a real story. Nonfiction means not fiction. So we have special tools in our book that help us understand the story. So let's take a look at some of those. So we have a title. So this word, Mrs. Walden, get her pen. This word here is the word title. So the title of our story is reindeer. So that's why that arrow on our picture is pointing to that. Reindeer is the title. So let's look at another feature. We have Sorry guys, we have the table of contents, which we have the table of contents at the beginning of the book, which Mrs. Baldwin showed you last time, but we'll look at it one more time. So we have the table of contents, and just like last time I said, it tells you what information is on each page. So if I looked at page eight, I would see page eight is where do reindeer live? So if I wanted to find out what our baby reindeers like. I can look and it says, what are baby reindeer like? And I can go to page 20 to find that. So a table of contents tells you what page to find information on. So next we have the index. Sorry guys, our iPad's acting crazy today. So the index, let me grab that really quick. Oh, it shows a picture of it right there. So an index shows what word is found on what page. So the index is super important for finding words that we do not know. So also we have um, bold, that's what that last word says. And bold means that the print looks like this. See how the word is darker than all the other words? That's because it's a special word. And when words are bold, that's exactly what it means, that you should pay attention to it because it's very special. Let's find another one. So we see the word wolverines is also bold and antlers. Those are important words to remember from the story. So the, those words are important. When they're a darker color of black, they're important. So this says photo versus illustration. So this is a photo. A photo is a real picture of something real. An illustration is something that has been drawn, just like we illustrate pictures in our activities. So we have a photo and an illustration. So an illustration, remember, is drawn and a photo is real. So we have a couple words here. So this word here is all about the map and we saw a map in our story too. So let's take a look at it. And a map just shows us a location or a place in which that the story is taking place or where important information is. So this map says Arctic. So this map is telling me where I can find the Arctic. So it's telling me where to find where the reindeer live. So our next word is the word diagram. That word right up there is diagram. Let me find our diagram. So this is a diagram. A diagram just shows a picture and it has a lot of labels explaining what is happening in the picture or what the picture is of. So we have a diagram of a reindeer and it shows his fur and his antlers and his hooves and his nose. So it shows all of the labels on the diagram. And our next word is the glossary. So the glossary, sorry guys, that was a funky looking writing. There we go. Our glossary is in the very back of the book right here and it has the word and what the word means. Cool, huh? Okay, this is our last picture we're going to go through and this one right here says heading. So this, the heading is what, I'll show you an example. So this is a heading. What is a reindeer? So the heading tells you what you're about to read about. So I know that I'm about to read about what a reindeer is based on the heading. And then a caption is a short sentence under a picture to tell you what is going on. I don't think there is any in this book. <laughs> So this could be a caption, Wolverines attack reindeer too. So it just tells me what the pic what is going on in this picture and why it's important. So what you're going to do is you're going to practice making your own 
nonfiction text feature. So uh, you're going to be making a diagram of a reindeer. So we have some words at the bottom, and I'll tell you what those words are. And I'll look back at this one and remind you what those special parts of a reindeer are called. So we have the fur, the antlers, the nose, and the hooves. So this first word here says hooves. So you're going to write that word where the hooves are. This word says tail. So you're going to write tail where the tail is. This word says antlers. So you're going to write antlers where the word says antlers. This word says fur. So you're going to write fur in the box that is pointing to the reindeer's fur. This word is legs. So you're going to point, you're going to write this word in the box that points to the legs. And the last word is eyes. So you're going to write eyes where the box is pointing to the reindeer's eyes. If you forget what those words are, you can watch the video again and listen to Mrs. Wallen say them, or you can ask your grown-up for help. I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. See you soon.